What are the reasons a person would need or want a trust? Well, and I want to make sure I let everybody know I'm also not an attorney. Uh, don't play one on radio or TV. You don't well, even so. look like one. No, 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 no way. So uh, the reason somebody may need a trust, uh, you know, we have multiple reasons, but the main three that we like to really make sure it, it deals primarily first off with uh, avoiding probate. Uh, anything that is titled underneath the trust will not pass through probate, uh, which is, you know, in our opinion, there's no necessary need to have an, uh, any asset to go through probate. Um, so if you can get things titled under the trust, that it's a big deal for families, you know, after a loved one is gone, that you're not worrying about another nine month or more of waiting for attorneys to get through um, moving the estate to get it closed. Um, the second big reason is privacy. Uh, we want to make sure, you know, a will is, is technically public information. Um, so if you want to keep things inside of your estate private, the, the trust will allow you to do that. Um, you know, nobody except the attorney and whoever you choose to, to read that trust is uh, allowed to actually see it. So it's, it has a nice form of privacy. And then the third is where we see the most, uh, where it makes the most sense is control. Because in terms of control, it, it's not that hey, you have control of something, um, you know, where you can really come back after you've passed to control. It's actually the trust is allowing you to say, hey, I want my beneficiaries to receive these assets, or I want my charities to receive these assets in the manner that I think is best. So as Joe, you've said many times, not every beneficiary is created equal. Um, and it could be two or three children. It could be multiple. You know, we've seen a trust recently that had 20 recipients um, and beneficiaries, and, you know, none of them are all the same. So how they receive money, you know, does it make sense to give them everybody tax deferred money? Does it make sense to give everybody, you know, some people more Roth money based off of their income? Uh, do you want to give somebody a million dollars all at once, or would you rather spread that out over a decade or two to make sure that they're not hurting themselves and that it's a uh, it's a benefit to them and not a curse? So, um, you know, there's lots of things in that control side.